Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Light of Energia channel. Today we will speak about the recalibration of Saturn. Saturn is in Vedic text known as the Karmic Master, the Lord of Time itself. Because everything Saturn touches, it slows it down. It brings it down to the perception of time. We all feel perception of time as only when something is slowed down to a pace that we can perceive, sense, recognize, experience. The entire concept of experience, even in Vedic uh, texts, is portrayed as something that can be perceived in time. The time factor what the illusion or the maya provides us with the time of uh, a length of time in which one can experience if creation will directly result in dissolution or brahma will directly result in the shiva part of it where is the experience possible think of that <clears throat> all experience is possible because there is a perception of time it's a perception doesn't exist in absolute reality according to the Vedas but that's that's where it goes so Saturn what it provides is this experience of time that's a big one for Saturn everything that Saturn sees through the seventh aspect through the third aspect and through the tenth aspect in the birth charts is about slowing things down with respect to those houses taking time with things it's not necessarily going to provide a quick lottery type results which we all humans desire myself included you do something today and you want the results tomorrow Saturn does not work like that Saturn works in a slow consistent manner it's considered the worker it's considered the bricklayer you know the guy who builds a builds your apartment you can see him working <clears throat> when he's working he's going brick by brick one day at a time five minutes at a time that's how a structure is built therefore stretch Saturn also governs structures laws rules governance places where law is considered places where rules of engagement are considered, procedures is considered. Saturn is a very procedural kind of guy. So you see all these energies that we spoke of about Saturn, now it has come to a new energy in the planet. So what does a new energy make Saturn do or how is it going to recalibrate? Well, the new energies is about higher human consciousness. It's elevating everything on the earth. It's elevating everything in humanity. It's elevating everything in um, human consciousness. How does this play out with the Saturnian energies? Saturn, like we spoke of, is about laws, rules, regulations, authority. People who are strong Saturn in their plan in their birth charts <coughs> tend to become leaders of governance, leaders in governmental authority positions, leaders in law enforcement, leaders in police, leaders in uh, organizations of every kind, managers, the leaders, the CEOs, the authority figures basically. Saturn loves authority and at the same time there is another side to Saturn which is the rebel. Saturn rebels against the authority itself. It represents the common man. It represents um, the community. Saturn loves to do things for others. Saturn thinks that's what is the dharma. That is what is the path. That's what we should all be doing here. We should be doing for one another. We should be concerned less about self and more about others that's why it's an enemy of sun sun is all about self and saturn is all about others what can i do for you today how can i be of service to you today that's the saturn's thinking sun is all about how can i gain things for myself what do i gain from this personally 
you see the the struggle in duality between <coughs> self and others this is nothing to do with dark and light we'll come to that a little later this has to do more with self and others saturn is about others saturn is not concerned about self why well saturn doesn't know who it is it is a wide gaseous planet which does not mostly saturn is gas in case you didn't know you can google it up so saturn think of saturn as an entity as a person a person who's just composed of gas and ether the person doesn't know have any solidification inside of himself or herself to know who or he or she is the idea of self is not known by saturn saturn doesn't know who it is so it goes out there to do things to feel itself this is what it considers its identity this is why saturn works very well with the shadow aspects of the birth chart it's it signifies what karma we bring in as in the bad stuff we bring in from the past life which we are here to work the puzzle through time like we spoke just now saturn is a lord of time it's considered like that <clears throat> so saturn will um try to in two phases of saturn one phase of saturn was capricorn the other was aquarius in capricorn it wants to be the authority it wants to be the the chief administrator it's an administrator kind of energy the guy who loves to flip burgers all day long in uh, in a mcdonald's is a saturn who is a worker who are the workers at the same time saturn can be the one who is leading a governmental authority institutions of government institutions of education institutions of law enforcement so all these things saturn loves it loves law and authority that's the one phase of saturn capricorn the other phase of saturn is in aquarius which is all about others like i said so it's all about others community why because it doesn't feel itself it takes the energy of rahu or the north node and tries to accomplish by a feeling of obsession with going to get something done these are all empty obsessions these are all empty concepts but saturn doesn't have an understanding of that saturn can does only want to support the creation of beauty that's why it supports venus all the venus ascendants taurus and libra are the only one where saturn is the yoga karaka or it makes things happen it supports venus that's the only planet saturn supports it's enemy against everybody else <clears throat> so saturn loves to create for the sake of others it supports venus in the new energies saturn will be in a contradiction with itself because on the one hand saturn loves to have authority on the other hand he loves to rebel against authority for the sake of common people so you see how contradictory these are on the one hand you want to have a leadership role on the other hand you want to fight and uh, rebel against the authority figures that's how contradictory saturn is Saturn also rules, rules the 8th house and the 12th house. 8th house and 12th houses are the most feared houses in Vedic astrology. They are considered to be the dushthana houses or the bad houses, but at the same time also the moksha houses or the liberation houses. Why is this dichotomy of Saturn playing out? Saturn needs to be really understood, really understood. the way it is presented in vedic texts and it has a meaning just try and, and follow me here with the reasoning saturn is the classic example of one who wants things in the material world yet wants to detach from it that's why it is the lord of all spirituality and dharma what is the right thing to do here in our lives that's what saturn governs doing the right thing is very big for saturn you do the right thing 
and Saturn will plus, play less havoc in your life. Doesn't matter where the position of Saturn is placed, mind you. <coughs> or even what kind of an ascendant you are. Saturn loves or gives focus or good energies or support to the person who is doing the right thing in their lives. Because it governs or takes cognizance of all your actions. Your karma is recorded in the Akashic records in case you have heard of that. So, this karma is watched and learned by Saturn. What all you are doing? What is your intent in doing something? Forget about how it's accomplished in the outer world. What is your intent behind doing something? Is it for your own selfish reasons? It is for giving to others. Which one of is it? It can't be both. So Saturn governs 8th and 12th house. So what is 8th and 12th house going to recalibrate as now? Because it's the Karaka of both houses. 8th house stands for sudden changes, occult mysticism, hidden things, secrets. The 12th house stands for spirituality, loss, loss of self, gain of spirituality. Now this is where the dichotomy comes in place. In the Vedic text, it is always portrayed as in order to gain a sense of spirituality, you must lose things. Saturn makes you lose things. That's the way it teaches. Yesterday we spoke of Jupiter and how it teaches. Saturn has a different style. It teaches through slow time and experience in your life. Saturn makes any person really get things for good. You don't forget a Saturnian lesson. You might forget a Jupiterian abundance. This is why people, they might have good relationships, house, cars, jobs, whatnot, but they will forget those things. It, it doesn't register in their soul. They are not really feeling it within themselves. They feel hollow in life. This is why you see successful people go out and trying to find themselves. They might have all the success in the external world, but they feel nothing hollow inside. Because Saturn is that person who makes it register in the soul. It really registers as a life experience, whatever Saturn puts you through. (coughs) Difficulties mainly. Difficulties as in loss of health, loss of relationship, loss of wealth, loss of position, authority, power. Saturn represents loss. But with that loss in the material world, the spirit gains experience and wisdom of what not to do. How is it that I must really live my life? What is the right thing to do in this world? How should I conduct my life? How should I conduct my relationships? How should I conduct my position in the society, in my family with respect to myself and with respect to the other? Am I giving to the society something which is of value? Is my energy which is here from birth to death getting spent in something useful? Not having a wild gig somewhere and getting 20,000 followers or trying to crave a wonderful relationship and spoiling the person's life. You know, all these things which you do for selfish reasons, Saturn abhors. It really gets pissed with all these kinds of approaches. So you might not want to piss off Saturn. It's not really a good idea. Trust me. So I have seen charts with people who are pissed off Saturn and how it's playing out in their life. It's funny how these things work. I just take things which work. That's my approach at least. I don't want to make things into tales or stories. Just what works and what doesn't work. It's just that simple, folks. So in the new energy, Saturn will have a contradiction to resolve within itself. That is to say, individuals will start thinking in terms of Well, do I do things for authority or do I rebel against authority? Right now in the planet, we are going in the phase of Capricornian recalibration. The Pluto is passing through Capricorn for till 2040 or 2039. This is the fight going on in the world. Common people versus authority. Common people versus rules, structures and institutions. Both are Capricorn. Both are, sorry, Saturn. Both are Saturn energies. One is Capricorn and one is Aquarius. 
So this push and pull that is going on, both are Saturnian energies. Saturn represents in Aquarius and Saturn represents in Capricorn as ascendant. This is a two faces or a contradictory faces of Saturn. How it resolves, we'll have to see in 2039. It'll be very interesting. That's why common people are rebelling and the authority figures are trying to lay more authority. You see how this is playing. Both sides there are just humans. It's funny to me to observe that the humans are playing on either side of the field. So you got to understand from the soul's perspective, from the Vedic perspective, it's just all expansion. It's all experience. In this illusion called Maya, we have come here for expansion through life experience, not by studying theories and books and degrees. That's not experience. That's not soul's learning. The soul only desires to learn through life experience and that's where Saturn comes in. It gives you life experience, it gives you lessons to learn and it gives you wisdom to do the right thing. Saturn is all about doing the right thing. Okay. So that ladies and gentlemen is my short take on the recalibration of Saturn and how it's going to play out. Keep a listen and watch my YouTube series if you want um, your this entire podcast of season 7 onwards in multiple languages. I'm using the YouTube engine to give you subtitles in 15 different languages including Hindi, German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Russian, Chinese, Japanese and Korean. Okay, You can take a listen there if you want subtitles. For season 7 onwards, there is a whole playlist there called Podcast. Take care meanwhile and be safe. Bye-bye.